Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome. I make lifestyle and mommy videos. If that's something that you enjoy watching, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video so I know what kinds of videos to keep making. This video has been long overdue, but I've really wanted to take the time to get the feel of the Mockingbird single to double stroller. I made a video a while back about my unboxing of the single to double stroller and just my first impressions. If you didn't see that video, I'll make sure to link it, but I knew I wanted to make an updated video once I got the chance to actually use the stroller. For a little bit I was using it as a single stroller because I just had my daughter in November so I was using it with my two and a half year old as a single stroller for that time. I believe that as a single stroller it is absolutely perfect. I love 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 it as a single stroller. And honestly, as a double stroller, I have very few things that I have a problem with. And I'll make sure to get into all of those things in this video. Something that I noticed right out of the box was that this stroller is just so easy to use. It's easy to put together. It's easy to take apart. It's easy to add the different adapters so that you can use the different accessories. It's very, very, very user friendly. And I do love that about this stroller. I have the regular two seats because I did get the second seat, but I have not been using the second seat with my newborn. I did not buy the newborn insert. I instead bought the carriage as well as the car seat adapter. If you're not aware, Mockingbird does not have their own car seat. You do have to get the adapter if you are going to use your car seat with it. So just make sure that your car seat is compatible. One of the things that I loved before purchasing the stroller is that you could use so many different things and that there are so many different configurations. I have only been using the bassinet and the car seat with the second seat. As I said, I did not buy the newborn insert. But once I am using both of the seats, I will do another updated video. The one thing that I was not sure about when I purchased this is whether or not my two and a half year old would be okay with being rear facing once we added the bassinet or if we were using the car seat. And the second seat does not fit if you do not have it rear facing. So. My little girl is used to facing forward and being able to see everything as we go. I wasn't sure how she would feel about being turned rear facing after all this time. For some people that might not work, but luckily for us, she doesn't mind at all. When you have the canopy back, they still can look around and she does that just fine. I'm really glad that worked out because as I said, I do really like this stroller. One of my favorite parts, honestly, is that I'm able to use the bassinet. The car seat is great if I want to quickly transfer the baby into the stroller and go somewhere, but with the pandemic, we're not really quickly running into stores or anything like that anyway. So the only time we've really been using it is more on walks. And for that reason, I generally use the bassinet. It allows her to lay flat, which makes it a much safer sleeping position. And she's able to just enjoy that while we walk around. I went back and forth between the infant insert and the carriage. There's definitely a price difference, but I am very glad that I got the bassinet or the carriage as it's called for Mockingbird. Another thing that I really love about this stroller is that the handlebar is adjustable. I'm only five foot, so it's really nice that I can adjust it to a height that works best for me, and then my husband can readjust it when he's using the stroller. If you did not know, Mockingbird also includes a sunshade with each of the seats. So if you have the single stroller, your seat will come with a sunshade. If you do get the second seat kit, it comes with a sunshade. And then if you purchase the carriage as well, that has a separate sunshade. The sunshade has come in handy a lot for the carriage. And I apologize because I will probably use carriage and bassinet interchangeably, but I am meaning the same thing. Though I have put the sunshade on the regular seat, I have not really needed to use it with my toddler. She has definitely preferred to be able to look around and she's at the point where she would just put on sunglasses. When I first purchased the Mockingbird, I had a sedan, a Nissan Sentra to be more specific. And I didn't have any problem fitting the stroller in my car just fold it up and that's when it was a single. I cannot speak to how the double stroller fits into a sedan because I actually just didn't think to try that before we ended up purchasing our SUV. With our VW Atlas, we are able to fit all of the parts we need into the trunk, which is great. Since I am talking about storing the stroller, we don't have a huge home, but we do have a decent sized closet 
in our foyer. And through being able to hang different things and fold up the stroller, we are able to fit all of the parts that we need in that space, which is really nice. I definitely think it's something to consider if you are going to buy multiple parts to the stroller. Think about how you are going to store those different accessories. There is definitely an adjustment to get used to when you've gone from using it as a single and then you go to using it as a double stroller. The biggest thing is weight. You've got more bodies in it and it is just a little more difficult to maneuver. I don't find it so hard that I think it's not worth it. It is a double stroller, it's going to be heavier. But because our toddler is toward the bottom of the stroller, you definitely feel the weight when you are using it. With that said, it still handles really well. You're gonna feel the difference, but I feel like that's going to be the case with any double stroller that you purchase. I was pushing the stroller with my toddler and my newborn one week after I had her, and I had a cesarean, so it's really not that difficult. I think Mockingbird did a really good job at making it still fairly easy to maneuver the stroller, whether it's single or double. With that said, there are a few things that I just think could be a little bit better. The first thing being the snack tray. I was so excited for them to come out with a snack tray. They started selling it in fall. I pre-ordered it. It's a $30 snack tray, so I just feel that for what I'm going to say, $30 maybe wasn't worth it. The biggest problem that I have with a snack tray is I can't use it. So as I said, I have both the bassinet and the car seat, which means that the second seat has to be rear facing. If I am using the car seat, I am able to use the snack tray, but I don't use the car seat very often. If I am using the bassinet though, the snack tray does not fit on the second seat. And I just feel like that is such an oversight. I feel that there had to have been a way to allow someone to still use the snack tray if they're using the bassinet. And as I said, I was very excited about this snack tray. Obviously, I'm gonna be able to use it at some point, but I just was very disappointed to have pre-ordered it, paid the money, gotten it, and not been able to use it. Another thing is it does not click out as easily as everything. Once you've gotten used to this stroller, it's just so great that everything clicks in and out so easily. I can't say the same for the snack tray. It goes in fairly easy, but it does not click out with the same ease as the other pieces that we've used. Another thing that I just have to mention is a downside, which I already knew going into this, the fact that you cannot have the second seat forward facing while you are using the bassinet or car seat. Again, it's not a problem for our family, it is working out still, but I do still have to say that that is something that is not exactly a positive. I have another thing to mention, and it is very nitpicky, but I still think it's just worth a mention. The pedal that you use to lock the stroller wheel is white, which is great for it to be matching all of the other buttons that you have to push to change something on the stroller. The fact that it is white though, it gets really dirty. And I know this is a nitpicky thing, but who wants to be cleaning the lock part of their stroller constantly? It's something that is not going to keep you from buying the stroller. It doesn't make it less of a good stroller, but it is something that I just wanted to mention. Another thing that I wanted to mention, which might just be my specific stroller, is the bassinet has a cover on it, which is really nice, but on my stroller at least, the zipper gets caught on the zipper that is underneath of it. Again, that could just be my stroller, but in case it's not, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that as well. The Mockingbird stroller is really a beautiful stroller. I find that it is so easy to use, and even as a double stroller, it's very easy to maneuver. I love that Mockingbird throws in things like the sunshades, the wet bag, the travel bag. I just think it's really great that they include those things. Even though you don't get things such as a cup holder, you can buy it, but it doesn't come with it. I do think that it does come with a lot of things that are very helpful. I actually opted not to purchase the cup holder, and I purchased a really cute itsy ritzy bag that I've attached to the stroller. I'll make sure to link it in the description, but that has worked really well for us. Overall, would I recommend this stroller? Definitely. I think that this is a great stroller at a great price, and I love that you can basically customize it for what works best for your family. I hope this video was helpful if you are looking for a stroller, if you are looking into the Mockingbird, 
I definitely think it is a really great option. But if you do have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, and I didn't answer in my previous video, make sure to leave them in the comments and I will try to give you the best answer I can. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do. I will see you in the next video. Bye.